bloggingandmakingmoney.com. Hi, I'm Wayne Scherer, and I'm really glad you're here today. I wanted to show you quickly um, what's inside the thesis theme. The thesis theme is one of my recommended themes, and of course, I don't want you to think that I'm just picking things out of the blue. Um, I really do use the products that I recommend to you, and uh, and it, this isn't on just some junk site. I wanted to show you that it's really on a site that is in constant use. So just so you can be sure, you can see the stats. This is for my um, Your Traffic Starter blog. Um, so you can see that that domain name is hmigroupmoneymaking.com. So I'm not, uh, I'm not tricking you with any video, um, video tricks or anything like that. Um, you can see for August, um, it showed 46,000 visitors here. Um, and let's see. Four, four visits per visitor, so a quarter of the visitors are returning visitors, and they come back four times at least. And uh, they watch the visitors go through uh, seven pages a piece on this blog. All right. So, uh, and also, just so you don't think I just started this blog yesterday, I, I just started using AW Stats because I just got my host to put it in. But uh, you can see this blog goes way back, even long before that. Um, but you can also see the stats here. Why, why do they look different in, uh, in AW stats? Um, like it shows for August 75,000 visits here. Um, it's because AW stats also includes uh, visits by bots and things like that, which you can go subtract elsewhere. Um, and, and there may be some other reasons for the differences. I don't, I don't know. I'm not an expert, so I'm not, don't, don't say I'm just making stuff up for you. I'm just telling you the parts that I know and the rest you can go figure out on your own because I don't know the answer completely. Um, but nonetheless, you can see the blog has steadily grown in traffic. In, in one month, I actually doubled the traffic. I'm not sure why. Uh, but in, in general, it has steadily grown on an uphill pace. All right? So enough with that. Let's go back to... Um, my blog theme, which is on the thesis platform, you can see it's fully customized and in uh, very sharp and uh, very clear. Um, of course, if you choose to make it ugly and, and hard for people to read, it has the ability to do that too. If you think making a theme is about making a personal statement, then you can go ahead and do that. But uh, for me, making a theme is about making it easy for my readers to read my blog because <laughs> that's what I want them to do. I don't want to make a personal statement. I just want to provide the information that's easily accessible. All right, so let's take a look inside at, uh, of the theme and let's quickly show you um, how you get to it. Um, go back to the dashboard real fast, as fast as the internet will let me, and you can see that I'm inside that my blog, the uh, Your Traffic Starter blog, which this is the actual title I use for the um, for the search engine. So it's not another trick that it's a different blog. It's not. It really is the same thing. Um, you can see it has over almost 700 posts in it, and uh, and over 1,800 comments um, in in the blog. All right. So let's move quickly. I'll show you the um, the thesis theme once you load it up. And it has its own menu right here. So you get to go right over here. Click on the uh, drop down, and then you see the options it has available to you. And let's quickly go into the site options. All right. So here's the um, here's the site options menu so it gives you full control over the entire site so these are the things that you want to occur to be um, on on every page when a person goes to any page they'll see these things happen there's a number of SEO options um, you can set your like I said in here my uh, feed burner feed is the default feed display when you click on the little feed thing um, so I can track my feed usage and um, and of course, you can add any script you want to apply site-wide right here. And you can apply things. Your tracking scripts can go right here. I have the uh, Google uh, tracking script there. But you can add other scripts. You don't have to put just one in here. You can put any scripts that you want to use in here. I don't rely on Google because they always show you less um, than the total traffic uh, of your site, unlike the uh, AW Stats, which shows you everything that occurs. If you that trust Google outright, you're crazy. <laughs> but you can go ahead and keep trusting them if you want. 
Um, this button looks like this. This is the, it says big ass save button. My Firefox browser has got gummed up. So I, I actually shouldn't be showing you this in, in my Firefox because my I can't figure out what's wrong with it. But uh, it doesn't do this in any other browser except for the one on this computer. Uh, so sorry about that. If you think I'm lying, well, I don't care. No, that's the fact. It, it, it does this on other websites for me, and I, and I can't figure out what I ca what caused it to happen. So um, so be it. I, I live with it. You won't have to if you haven't goofed up your browser. All right. So on the menu. The uh, design options, that's the next one. Um, I'll show you quickly inside of that. Uh, here they are. There You can see theme design options. These are things you can apply um, either site-wide or individually on individual pages. It gives you those kind of options. You can pause this video and see all the features that are available to you um, if you like. I'm not going to go through each of them. Just to, I just wanted to show you just that it really is uh, very capable. Um, and I'm going to show you one other thing that demonstrate how you, it eliminates the need for an SEO plugin uh, by using this theme as well. All right. So let's. Uh, you, you also have the ability to upload a custom header. I'll show you that I. That's how I actually did it. It's not made up. There's the header. You go onto the site. There's where that header appears. Okay. You put in, if I put in one that's an actual full length, it actually, uh, it actually tells me if I put in a 1022 pixel, it would take up the whole thing, and that's what would do that. But I didn't want it to do that. I wanted to be able to display banners up there, so I, 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 did, uh, I did this. Um, so you also have, you can put in your favicon, which I did, and if you go to the site, you will see it. Um, that means favorite icon. Um, Let's go to the custom file editor. This is where you can enter your own code to make things the way you want. Now, you're thinking you have to be able to make code. Well, no, you don't. Uh, this code in particular came with the developer license, uh, so I just literally pasted it in here just like the instructions said. And that's how um, this basic uh, theme outline, I happen to like this nautical stuff because I'm a Navy guide, so I love having the ocean behind it. Uh, that's how I got there. That says big ass save button. Um, so this it, it appears correctly on anybody else's browser but mine because I have a screwed up browser. Um, and then you you also in here not just have a custom CSS but you have a custom functions. And you, when you select that you can enter your own functions into the uh, browser. Um, so do you have to be a coder to do that? Well no. Um, this I got this from the forum. Um, how to fix how to, actually this came in the the uh, um, the, the developer um, license uh, site um, that's where that came from I just pasted it in there put in the right uh, stuff for my footer and that's also where this came from the form for setting the uh, the header the way I wanted it to look it allowed me to put my script in there for running those uh, rotating banners so I just went over here to to the uh, developer home and then I clicked on the form and it brought this up let me quickly take you back to where how you find this um, it was in, I just went to resources and tutorials I clicked on that and then that took me to the next page which was the actual listing of the resources there was one here for uh, there's one here for a whole lot of things but there's one here for headers and footers so I clicked on that and it took me to this page and I went right down here and there's a whole bunch of things that were already there so I clicked on the banner ad and header and hopefully it hasn't logged me out uh, you know it hadn't and, and sure enough <laughs> there was the code I needed to do what I wanted to do and I just copied it and pasted and entered my specific um, requirements and it was up and running so that's how easy it was for me to get this going it took me about an hour to get this theme up the way I want it but the great thing was is I didn't have to do it and disrupt everybody else because I could go and let's go to manage options here and I could do this on a test site then I could uh, save all of those options and download them and then open it up and install the theme in this one and open it up 
click all options and upload it and it was instantly present on this blog so that was great so I did a few uh, minor things after it was uploaded um, but all in all I didn't have to interrupt my readers um, in order to upload this uh, theme so I thought that was great um, uh, I already had these blocks made so I just pasted them in a, a sidebar widget um, this uh, this was new for this blog, so I had to make this, but the, I already had one made, so I could have just pasted that old widget in there if I wanted to. And uh, and I added, you know, I, I created this, this, I mean, that's because I decided to do that. I didn't have to do that, so it wasn't required to make this blog function, but I created this just for this blog. Um, everything else was already present from my old blog. It just comes out uh, in a format that I like better, and I, it makes it easier for readers to find find things and uh, it makes a sharper read for people and uh, thus and I can I can more easily select my uh, navigation stuff as well so that's it that's the thesis theme I think this theme is great and I'm going to use it on on lots of blogs uh, because that's why I got the developer license so I could use it over and over again but you can buy just one license for a singer blog if you like you still have all the functions really the only thing I couldn't do if I didn't have the developer was uh, was modify take the uh, attribution out of the uh, out of the theme on the bottom all right so this is a great theme thesis is awesome and um, if you read the sales page you'll see why it's so great for SEO oh that's what I wanted to show you inside uh, why you don't need a uh, why you don't need a SEO plugin in this one because it's already there. So we'll look, take a quick look, load up a page here as if you're making a new blog post. And you scroll down, and I mean, I, I do use SEO Presser, you can see it there, and I use S, you know, WordPress indication. But um, right here, these SEO details that you would normally find in like all in one SEO or Greg's SEO or whatever but they're all present already in this theme so and it also gives you the ability to add um, images um, as a thumbnail or as a regular um, post image um, uh, enable JavaScripts uh, put a multimedia box wherever you want um, those things are all included so you don't need plugins to do those things so that makes your uh, your blog a whole lot smoother operating so that's it. That's the thesis theme. Um, if there's um, just like um, most of the themes, I've, well, all the themes I've showed you, I use, and any of them will do a great job for you. And thesis is uh, is a dynamic theme that you won't be sorry you bought it if you choose to use this theme. Um, it is definitely the most SEO friendly theme of all the premium themes I've used, and it's very very easy to set up. So grab it for yourself. If you want a professional looking blog that's sharp and ready to go instantly, this is Wayne Scherer from Blogging and Making Money.com or wherever you happen to be reading. And thank you for joining me. I'll see you again next time.